All right, well, I don't know if this uh, audio is working, but it's the latest addition to the uh, Galani farm, the dump trailer. And today I picked up some rock and now I'm picking up some cedar, or did pick up some cedar to um, kind of deal with the dogs area here and my porta potty that's right there. This area gets kind of slushy sometimes with the uh, water and whatnot. So we are going to add some cedar, kind of keep the uh, keep keep the moisture down. And gravel came out real nice. I don't know how cedar does. I guess we'll find out. I think it works pretty good. Sweet. Just about to the top here. Almost there. If you're um, noticing smoke, that's the end. Cool. Uh, if you're noticing smoke, it's because the baby trigger is um, getting hooked up on some salmon. So just getting that rolling. Anyway, that's the new dump trailer, and it is a. Big Tex 10, 10 SR, so 10K. A, it's um, 7 feet by 12 feet. And cross over here. Give you the other view. Not too bad a shape. Has some sides built up on it and whatnot. Spare tire. have the dump so I'm going to be pulling this over basically where the straws at and start spreading it out so there you go talk to you soon bye all right so now to what the video is about so as you uh, caught there I just bought this uh, dump trailer and I found a local guy that actually uh, provides a pretty good price on gravel and so I took the dump trailer down there and he asked me how much I wanted and I said well you know a couple yards or so I got 50 bucks in my pocket and he goes all right well that's about two and a half yards or so anyway um, long story short that's three and a half yards in the trailer there uh, that's me trying to dump it and it ain't happening. Uh, so um, I was going to grab a shovel, but then I thought, hey, it's a great opportunity to put the coyote to work and pull some of that three and a half yards out so that um, I can actually dump the trailer. And so this is what you um, have me doing here is just grabbing some scoops and uh, moving through the gravel, uh, getting getting some of it out of the trailer so that that eventually I can dump it. The first load that I grabbed with the trailer was two yards, and it was no problem at all. Uh, dumped fine and had no issues, but um, that three and a half yards was was quite a chore for the truck, quite a chore for the trailer, and clearly uh, the dump was not going to happen. Um, so you see me here, I'm not, you know, being too diligent about, you know, trying to get a full bucket and whatnot because I'm just trying to get enough off of the trailer so that I can get it to dump 
and start working um, and filling in some of the areas that we had erosion on and kind of got muddy when we did the tree work and whatnot and with the recent rains. I'm much more efficient uh, spreading gravel with the bobcat than I am with the tractor. I'm still kind of learning uh, that skill. The other thing is uh, grabbing gravel out of the back of a tra trailer is kind of a little bit different. I mean, I was a little bit concerned about running the front of the tractor into the back of the trailer. Um, I'm sure the tractor would probably uh, not fare well in that deal or that exchange because, the, uh, of course, the big text is all metal across the back. And so uh, I wasn't too concerned about filling buckets to the brim. I was just trying to grab what I could and kind of spread it out uh, close by there and some bad spots and whatnot and get to the point where I was closer to two yards so that I could uh, affect the dump with the dump trailer. Uh, I grab a few buckets, probably like three or four maybe, and then I'm like, okay, well that's about as far as I can reach with the bucket. Uh, it's probably time to go ahead and grab a shovel. And um, I'm not too proud to grab a shovel and do some work. Uh, but then it occurred to me, hey, that's a great opportunity to mess around with the backhoe as well. And so that's what you see next is uh, me grabbing the backhoe and going ahead and setting it up and just pulling some gravel basically towards the back of the trailer at this point. And probably more trouble than it was worth, but um, hey, it's still fun. And so um, that's what you got here is just me grabbing some scoops of uh, the higher part of the pile and kind of pulling it towards the back uh, dragging a little bit of it out here and there and um, it actually worked pretty well it was a little bit tricky um, you know curling the bucket at the, just the right spot uh, so that you weren't pushing you weren't uh, pushing down on the trailer you can see the trailer kind of bouncing a little bit but overall I think it worked pretty well uh, definitely faster than the shovel um, ultimately I, I did break down and finally figure out, Hey, because I was able to pull most of the gravel from the back of the trailer out. Um, but then all of the gravel or the primary portion of the load was in the front of the trailer. And of course on a dump trailer, you want an even load when you go to dump. And so I finally did have to result to, uh, taking a shovel up there and kind of moving some of that back and getting it uh, getting it so it was a little bit level um, but you know the learning curve on all this stuff is is there and so you just got to kind of figure stuff out and I've never had a dump trailer before so I've done a lot of research and watched a lot of videos and so I know about load uh, equalization and whatnot and clearly um, I probably should have been more specific about what I wanted as far as a load goes. Um, I was thinking two and a half yards, I'd be fine, and that's kind of what I ended up with as far as telling him. Um, after he grabbed this big gigantic scoop, he said, hey, that's about three and a half yards. I was like, oh my. Um, anyway, did level out the load and got it to the point where it would go ahead and dump, and so that's what you're up against next here is seeing it finally happen um, and I'm probably right down to about uh, two two and a half yards there and um, so I was relieved to see that the hydraulics and everything was still going to be working fine and we were going to be back to uh, normal as far as uh, the trailer goes and the dumping goes and whatnot <laughs> So that was the uh, Big Dump Trailer Rescue, uh, thus the title. Uh, thanks for uh, bearing through that on my learning curve. 
I couldn't help but throw this little uh, one minute segment in the end of the video here. It's um, me taking a box of firewood over to the neighbor's house. It's basically the next driveway, but I do have to go out onto the roadway. And um, anyway, it's kind of fun. I ended up stopping recording because his wife was out in the driveway. I didn't think she wanted to be on video, but um, the coyote did very well grabbing this um, box of seasoned firewood and dragging it up to the na neighbors. I uh, horse traded him some other items and had some firewood laying around. So I told him, hey, I'll, I'll bring some firewood over. And so that's the, um, the final video you see here. And like I said, when I turned up the driveway and saw her standing up there and giving me the um, kind of the angry eyes, I thought, well, she probably doesn't want to be on video, so I better call it. Thanks for watching. Take care.